it's chemistry and you are watching cam science in this video we will learn about the igcse lower secondary topic acids and bases and we will concentrate on what are acids and bases what are the common acids and bases used what is a ph scale what are the oxides which can act as acids and bases so let's start, first start with the acids and see what is an acid acids are the substances which can donate h plus that is the proton donor so the substances which can donate h plus ion that is hydrogen ion can be called as an acids so in other terms we can also say that a substance which can produce hydrogen ions when dissolved in water so you can say that the h plus is donated in the aqueous form because it is dissolved in water one more characteristics of acid is that acid turn blue litmus paper red or you can say blue litmus indicator to red color and we can also describe acids as the substances which has ph below 7 that is the ph between 0 to 7 are the substances which ca can be called as acids another characteristics of acids are that they are corrosive in nature means it can be harmful to some surfaces or metals or the stone substances and can react with all this to harm it some common examples of the acids are hydrochloric acid hcl which we know it very well very commonly used at very places sulfuric acid that is h2so4 that is also used widely nitric acid and ethanoic acid now these are the acids other than that there are certain more common acids which are methanoic acid citric acid carbonic acid etc now out of these the first three that is hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid can be called as mineral acids and the other few acids which are mentioned here are called organic acids now as we know the meaning of the word organic it means that these are the acids or the substances which are related to the plants or animal beings and can be found in their body or they are produced from plant material or the organic material so we call them as organic acids now let's go ahead to understand what are bases bases are the substances which can donate oh minus that is hydroxide ion to react with h plus ions that is to react with the acids so in other terms we can also say that bases are the substances which can produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water that is oh minus ions are produced in the aqueous form also just like acids they also change the color of the litmus indicator but the color is the reverse one that is the bases changes red litmus to blue color in acids we had seen that the acids change blue litmus to red so the opposite reaction will be seen for the bases as compared to acids and we can also call bases as the substances which has ph above 7 that is the ph between 7 to 14 these are the substances which are called bases now just like acids the bases are also corrosive in nature so it can harm any surfaces or the substances which can come in contact with bases like metal surfaces or stone material or any other surfaces which can be harmed by the contact with bases some common example of bases are sodium hydroxide that is naoh potassium hydroxide that is koh calcium hydroxide that is calcium oh twice ammonia nh3 now let's understand what is a ph scale as we have already seen that the acids have a ph of 1 to 7 or 0 to 7 and the bases have the ph of 7 to 14 so let's understand what is a ph scale so if we call this as ph meter or the scale of the ph that is 0 to 14 then 7 is the ph which can be called as a neutral one so a substance which is neutral which is neither an acid nor a base will have a ph of 7 so any ph which is less than 7 that is 0 to 7 can be called as an acidic substance 
and any ph which is greater than 7 that is from 7 to 14 can be called as a basic substances now this acidic and basic substances can also be a strong and weak that is acids can be strong acids or weak acids bases can also be a strong acids or weak bases so let's understand in terms of ph that what are weak acids weak bases strong acids and strong bases so if a ph which is closer to 7 that is a ph from 4 to 7 on an acidic side can be called as weak acid and a ph again on the basic side which is closer to 7 that is from 7 to 10 can be called as a weak basis similarly which the ph acids which are away from 7 that is the acidic substances which are having ph far from the 7 that is 0 to 3 such substances can be, can be called as strong acids and the substances which has again ph on the basic side away from the 7 that is from 12 to 14 can be called as strong bases now how to measure the weakness strength of acids and base how to identify acid and base and one of the common indicator to identify the acids and base is a universal indicator so we can find the ph of any substance or solution by using the universal indicator now what is a universal indicator it's a mixture of dyes just like in litmus P universal indicator is also an indicator which shows an acid and base but litmus is the indicator which shows only two color that is red and blue red is for acidic substances and blue is shown by the basic substances but as universal indicator is not a pure indicator it's a mixture of dyes that is mixture of indicators so it can show a varied color now these just like in litmus indicator universal indicator can also be used in a solution form or in a paper strip form any of these according to our convenience can be used to identify a substance as acid or base now as we know that universal indicator is a mixture of dyes so it just it doesn't show two colors it shows varied colors according to the ph and here we can see the various colors shown by the universal indicator according to their ph so universal indicator shows green color when the ph is 7 and the acidic side will have a light yellow to orange color when the acidic substances are weaker but the color gets darker as the acid gets stronger that is it goes in the terms of dark red color same way on the basic side the color will be bluish in color but it will be faded or light blue color for the weak bases and gets darker blue to purple for the strong bases so this is the variation in color shown by the universal indicator according to the strength of acids and bases now let's see what are oxides and how are they important in the terms of acids and bases so what are oxides oxides are the compounds containing oxygen with another element now there are four different types of oxides which we can see here first one is the basic oxides acidic oxides neutral oxides and amphoteric oxides let's first start with the basic oxides now what substances which kinds of oxides can act as in basic oxides so most metal oxides are basic oxides metal oxides in the terms like sodium oxide or calcium oxide or any transition metal oxides like ferric oxide or copper oxide any such oxides which are metallic oxides can act as a basic oxides now as the name suggests basic oxides and they are going to react with the acids to form salt and water for example calcium oxide is a basic oxide as it is a metal oxide it can react with acids like hydrochloric acid to form the salt calcium chloride and water and basic oxides do not react with the substances having the similar properties to itself so the basic oxides cannot react with alkalis or other bases and so it 
can be identified easily when it reacts with the acids and not with the alkalis. Now let's see some more properties of the basic oxides. Many basic oxides do not react with water but group 1 and group 2 oxides does react with the water and so it forms an alkaline solution. So when group 1 and group 2 oxides reacts with the water, the resultant solution or the resultant substance will be alkaline in nature and if we test it, it's going to turn red litmus paper to blue, which indicates that the solution formed is basic in nature. Example, barium oxide. Now as it's a metal oxide, it's basic in nature and it reacts with the water to form barium hydroxide now barium hydroxide in the aqueous form is an alkaline solution and it can be tested with the litmus paper or litmus solution which turns red litmus to blue now barium oxide was a group 2 oxide now if we talk about group 1 oxide sodium oxide that's also going to react with the water to form the hydroxide sodium hydroxide now as we know Sodium hydroxide is a basic substance so the solution formed will be an alkaline solution turning red litmus paper to blue. Now just like the basic oxides we have acidic oxides also and what substances can act as acidic oxides are non-metal oxides act as an acidic oxides for example sulfur when reacts with oxygen forms sulfur dioxide which is an acidic oxide and these acidic oxides reacts with the alkalis to form salt and water just like the basic oxides which used to react with the acids example carbon dioxide which again is a non-metal oxide which should be an acidic oxide so acidic oxides reacts with an alkalis or bases to form the salt and water so here as sodium hydroxide is one of the alkali can react with the acidic oxide carbon dioxide to form the salt sodium carbonate and water and thus acidic oxides do not react with the acids which are having its own similar nature so it can react only with the alkalis or bases there are many acidic oxides which does react with the water to form an acidic solution which can turn blue litmus paper to red example sulfur trioxide now again a non-metal oxide which should be acidic in nature that's going to react with the water to form an acidic solution of sulfuric acid now sulfuric acid being acidic in nature is going to turn blue litmus to red some acidic oxides may react with the bases now what are bases like metal oxides so acidic oxides can react with metal oxides when heated example silicon oxide silicon dioxide which is an acidic oxide will react with the basic oxide that is metal oxide to form a salt that is calcium silicate now calcium silicate is the salt formed by heating two solid acidic oxide and basic oxides and so this reaction can be possible only when they are heated together the other oxides are one of it is neutral oxides now the neutral oxide are the oxides which do not react with either acid or bases it does not react with any of the substances such oxides are called neutral oxides for example carbon monoxide nitrogen monoxide no or nitrous oxide that is nitrogen one oxide and two o although these oxides are non-metal oxides non-metal oxides are supposed to be acidic in nature but these are the few oxides which are not acidic in nature and they are neutral oxides the other type of the oxide is amphoteric oxide now these are the oxides which reacts with the both acids and bases so one type of oxides is a neutral oxide which do not react with any of the acids or bases and amphoteric oxides are the oxides which does react with both the acids and bases so such amphoteric oxides when they react with acids they form salt and they form complex salt when they react with the bases and the most common examples of amphoteric oxides are the oxides of aluminium and zinc oxide of aluminium that is al2o3 aluminium oxide and zinc oxide is zno these are the two oxides which can act as amphoteric oxide that is reacting with both acids and bases 
so first if we see about zinc oxide then it can react with the acid nitric acid to form the salt zinc nitrate and water and when the same zinc oxide reacts with a base or the alkali it form a complex salt called sodium zincate and water now as the name indicates it that shows that an oxygen is present in the compound and we have sodium zincate as a complex salt formed when the amphoteric oxides reacts with the alkalis or bases in a similar way when aluminium oxide which is again an amphoteric oxide reacts with a acid hydrochloric acid here to form the salt aluminium chloride and water and in the same way aluminium oxide again reacts with the basic substances alkalis that is sodium hydroxide to form again a complex salt and water that is sodium aluminate and so these are the few reactions of the amphoteric oxides we can see you can always pause the video and note down this reaction because it is important from the exam point of view so here is our main important topic of acids and base at the lower secondary level and i hope the shortest substances are very clear short topic is very clear in the next upcoming topic of the similar level we will learn about the indicators and the salt preparation methods